Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, we're just going to make a few Tim Holtz cards. Um, I use Tim Holtz wallpaper paper, and uh, these doilies, I just used one of them, they're kind of a craft color, I got them at Joann's. We're going to use the Crazy Cats, and this is just one of his small sets. It has some of the dies and then some of the stamps. <coughs> And then this Tim Holtz, the butterfly with the dies and stamps again. Okay. Um, I also used a few dies. I used this die. Um, I'll just show you real quick. On this card, I punched this side and this side. And the way I did that was I punched one side first, and then when I turned the paper around I put it like this and then you have to kind of like weave that end out so it doesn't cut it with the square and did that so I got the design on both sides okay um, and I used a few other dies as well okay so I don't know about all of you but I don't always love coloring stamps I don't I don't know why I just don't really like doing it so um, I like to either have stamps that use the stamp pad for color or, um, you know, use printed papers, but some things just don't look great like that, and that's kind of what I ran into with these cats. It just seems like when I color them, I just don't get the effect that I want. So I decided to take the, um, the paper, the wallpaper from Tim Holtz, and stamp the cats right out of the paper. So I put the die right there. Well, I, I stamped it first so that you could see his eyes and everything and um, punched it out. And I tried when I put the stamps down to get the lightest part, like this up here, for the face of the cat. And so it ended up looking like this. And I thought it was pretty funny because it kind of looks like a, you know, a calico cat or something like that. So I thought that turned out pretty good. So I just did a 4x5 basic card craft paper and then I'm gonna put the doily on like this so I need a little glue bear with me because my glue is running out of course so I'll try to keep it on its side or something just a little glue everywhere and I like this tacky glue it just really holds everything down um, but there's a million other things and you can use whatever you want and then this is the uh, wallpaper again so I'm just putting the doily on it. I just folded it in half. I kind of wanted it to look maybe like a little rug or I don't know. Just something. And then I'll put some glue on the back of this. And I'll get that down there on the paper. You guys see this? Nope, not frame, sorry. Oops, I put my cat down on the board. Okay, so those are nice and flat, and I want my cat sitting right about here so you can see him with his crazy colors. And I punched out the little um, yarn ball of that set just on some green kind of textured paper. And I'm going to stick this right over here like he's been playing with his yarn. kind of has a sad look on his face <laughs> in a way. Sorry, I got way too much glue on that. So I uh, stamped the thinking of you that's in that same uh, stamp set. It's right along here, thinking of you. On just a piece of old like magazine paper like something like this, like an old book page or something at the bottom, there's always this extra, but this is a little bit thinner, and I kind of like to take just a little bit of glue and put it on each side, and then I don't just glue it down flat, I kind of squish it towards itself a little bit. And this can kind of give you a rippled look, just to give it a little more dimension. So I'm just kind of pushing it together, the paper is thin enough, and you can probably see right down in there. And so that's one. It simple card. Just something simple. Okay. 
And then the next one is another one of the cats, and this time I chose this wallpaper. And you can see I, again, tried to get like the lightest part, like maybe in this area for the eyes instead of where the green flower is, so that you can, you know, kind of see his face a little bit better. And I got just kind of a, I don't know, maybe a moss green type paper. And then I'm going to put this right down. Kind of center it. And then I took some, um, sorry, pattern paper. Couldn't think of what this was called for some reason. And uh, I just like this. It just looks kind of neat and you can see through it. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue all over. It'll dry clear and you won't, you're not going to see a lot of that anyway. It just gives it some texture, something different, and it looks neat because you can see the pattern through it. My goodness, the cats keep trying to stick to me and everything else. Okay, and then I just cut out this circle on some textured paper using one of these die cuts, and I think I got these off of Amazon. And I did ink all the edges um, with the Tim Holtz brushed corduroy distress ink, like I always do. <laughs> so, oh, and I do have a hole in that. I forgot. That's why. I, um, out of some coffee filter, I just stamped a little tag or punched a little tag with this kind of die cut. So, and I have a little, um, brad that I'm going to use. And I did put a little distress ink on the brad, but you can't really tell that well. And I kind of want it askew, but I'm not going to glue it yet, that part. Okay, and that's just going to go right in the middle. So just layering some different textures. I think it makes it more interesting. And then this little cat looks like he's been in trouble <laughs> to me. But let's put this down first. Sorry. I stamped the meow from the set. It's right here. On another piece of old, like, uh, ad paper. And it's really thin, but it kind of is aged and torn and everything all by itself. I didn't do any. I did put a little ink down here and up here. But for the most part, that's all what was what it looked like. I'm just gonna put a little glue on it. It's pretty fragile. And I want it under this. And I like the little meow. I'm just gonna put a dot of glue right there so that'll stay down. And he looks like he got surprised doing something he wasn't supposed to be. Like cats do. And this is why, because he knocked over the bottle of milk. So, these are really cute. I love Tim Holtz stuff. He just does a great job. So, just another simple little card. Okay. And then that last card that I showed in the beginning, uh, this one's a little more tedious. So I just put it together because I thought you guys might choke me by the end. But um, this is pieces of paper from the Graphic 45 Nature Sketchbook. And I was kind of going for the whole scientific theme here. Um, I just cut pieces out. I tore them and inked them and rippled them a little bit underneath. And then these are pieces that I tore and inked and set there. I just wanted it to kind of look like um, a scientist has been at work or something with pinning the butterfly and there's a leaf that's pinned here and a dried, this is just one of those paper flowers that you can get at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, <laughs> wherever. But anyway, on the butterfly, I stamped it out of this uh, wallpaper by Tim Holtz. And then I just took some of his Distress ink. I used the milled lavender and the chipped sapphire. And I just, uh, this is just paper plate. I do like this. And I know you've probably seen this stuff before because lots of people do this. And one of those watercolor pens. And I just dipped it in there. 
and I just went around the edges of the butterfly and I would mix the two colors together just mix them and I just went around the edges and that was it I stamped it first with the stamp in, with black ink and um, so it's the black ink on this wallpaper and then I just went around the edges and that's all I did I didn't do anything else but it ended up kind of a really cool effect I thought and I did some of the watercolor around this tag as well the uh, graphic 45 nature sketchbook paper and so it's just another card this one's a little bit bigger I did make an envelope for this which you can do if you have one of the um, handy dandy envelope makers like this there's other ones too but that's just the one I use so uh, I hope you have a wonderful day please subscribe thank you